John, welcome to Reading or welcome to the Team Hotel here in Holland. It's it's been a really really busy day for you, I guess, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, very busy. Um, I was up early this morning, um, sorting out the uh, the contract and stuff like that. So it's been a, and obviously I'm buzzing. I've, I've arrived now. It's a bit bit of a delayed journey, but um, yeah, I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, like an absolute whirlwind, I suppose. You know, you link, you arrived here t Wednesday night and be uh, training tomorrow morning and stuff, you know, meeting the teammates for the first time. So that's going to be an exciting uh, last couple of days here in Holland with us. Yeah, definitely. I was I was hoping to, to come a bit earlier. Um, I think there was a bit of a delay, but um, no, I'm glad I'm out here now. And um, I think there's I get a training session tomorrow, then I believe there's a game on, on Friday. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can get a few minutes. Just tell us a little bit about the, the move and how it materialised then. So when, when did you become aware that Reading would be hoping to sign you? Um, coming to coming to the last couple of weeks of my Chelsea contract, I think um, we had to get a, few, a couple of teams um, to take me. But um, straight away when Reading when Reading came in and when Yap came in as manager, it, uh, it was definitely one of one of the main options I wanted to come here um, because of the way the football he's going to play. And um, straight away, as soon as I uh, heard there was interest, I was in to see the manager. Um, and uh, it sort of all happened really quickly um, and then it was just the, the, the contract talks um, but yeah it came around uh, it came around longer than I expected um, because I'd like to I would have liked to start pre-season a lot earlier but but now I'm here and hopefully I can get started really well as we mentioned no time to rest at all like you know you're going to be you know arrived so late this evening and uh, yeah, you'll be straight out on the training ground tomorrow like you know getting stuck in and you know hope you'll probably know of some of the teammates but you're going to get to learn their personalities and things as well aren't you yeah yeah i've, I've been online three times now so i'm used to coming into to new groups and, and getting getting to know all the players um but this will be i'll be here for good now so um, it won't like I'll be coming in and then going, so I can come in here and get used to, to what to what it's like around Reading and around the training ground. So, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You mentioned that you know you, you'd like to have linked up a bit earlier, but you have been keeping yourself busy over over pre-season. You were, you know, you went over to France, as, uh, represented England, and you come away with some silverware. You know, the under 21s won the Toulon tournament, so that must have been a really good experience. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was buzzing. I think all, all the boys were. I think. Um, I had a, a, a quite good season anyway, and to, to end it on a win with the um, a win with England under 21s and the Toulon was uh, was an amazing feeling, and um, had a really good summer. But obviously, you have to keep yourself really fit for whatever happens. And for me, it was it wasn't didn't really know what was going to happen um, at the beginning of the season. Um, but now, yeah, now I'm signed for Reading, so buzzing. And you know, it kind of helps you. So you kept fit and firing, but also, you know, if we look back at last season in particular, you know, almost the entire season with uh, with Brentford, and that must have been a really good, you know, it was your first taste of Championship football, I believe. Is that correct? I guess yeah, it would have been. And you've certainly held your own. You had you know, seven goals and played plenty of times as well, and it, that must have been really good for you. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a massive step at the beginning of that season. I because I was on my last my last year, I didn't think I was going to be going on loan. Um, but uh, Brentford came in, and, and when I went, I uh, started the first couple of games, and I got straight into it, and started to play really well, and got my first goal in the end. So, um, and just from there, I just got used to it, playing in a new position as well, which was uh, which was good. So, um, to get used to another position is always is always good for a player. So, but yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed it, and it was my first taste, and hopefully, I can I can uh, build on it and do better this year because you know exactly what it means to, to kind of be involved in a, in a long championship season and what you know what it takes to you know physically mentally and you know, everything yeah yeah I mean um, coming from under 21 football to, to championship football and on your body is really hard playing Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday is uh, difficult for every player but um, I got used to it a bit last season and hopefully I can maybe like start the game this game, um, this season and do my best and yeah hopefully hopefully do my best with the team. You mentioned the manager as well and I suppose the two things I want to say there is that number one you know you, you must really have like a lot of the players just real admiration for what he's achieved in the game and, and number two you know want to be you know kind of be versatile and available in those kind of four positions in, in his squad wherever he chooses to kind of deploy you. Yeah definitely I think when I spoke to him 
um, the the type of football he wants to play suits me suits me down to the ground. So um, that was a that was a real um, real good opportunity for me to come here and, and play the football I want to play um, and to be to be able to play in all in three maybe four positions in the attacking role is uh, is good. So um, hopefully I'll get a lot of playing time. And then, like you, like you say there as well, you know, you mentioned kind of going away with England too, and having been involved at the youth setup for so long with, with England. I mean, you must have had some amazing experiences, some trips away, and things. And not everyone can boast that at your age, can they? Um, yeah, I've, I've played for England since I was really young. I think um, it's been, it's obviously been every single time you get called up for England, it's a great feeling. Um, it doesn't get, doesn't get any better than playing for your country. So. Um, that's great, and hopefully, if I if I do well this season, I'll, I'll stay in the England set up. What so tell us a bit about what your playing style is like? What can the fans maybe expect from you? Um, I think I'm a player that likes to get on the ball. I think um, I like to get on the ball and run with it. I like to to beat players and and create things. Um, but I won't just I won't just that won't all be all. I think um, I can obviously I. My fitness is really good, so um, I can get up and down the pitch. Um, but yeah, I think the main things for me is to get on the ball and create things and beat players and, and score goals. We all know that that's what gets supporters off their feet and things. That's what supporters love. So, as you say, if you can combine those two things, getting on the ball and also, as you say, they're getting up and down the pitch as well, working hard for the team. Hopefully, it'll be a good combination. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, working hard for the team is the main thing. I think every player's got to do it. Um, and the, fan, the fans want to see a player that works hard for the badge, so um, I'll do that 100% every single game. Um, but hopefully, when I do get on the ball, I can create goals and, and score goals too. John, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.